Hello. Uh, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Um, I've got a story for you today. It's kind of tied into the what we want discussion we've been having, but it also it's kind of a standalone story I've been working on for a little while. And I got to tell you, this is the early version of this story. So you will see it a few times over the next um, <clears throat> bit of time as I get more practiced at talking about this story because it is something that came up with two different clients kind of at the same time. And it's what many of my clients have, have had happen over the years. Um, there is a thing we come across as we're going through their stuff that represents possibilities. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about it as the blue box of possibilities today. It's a lovely box, right? Has a little ribbon. It opens up. A planner came in this box. I'm not going to tell you what planner. Just know that there's a pretty blue box of possibility. Um, if you recognize it, there's nothing against this planner. It's actually a fantastic planner for the right people. <clears throat> the box that it came in is what we're talking about today. The other client didn't have a blue box of possibility. They had a black notebook of possibility. And so it, it represents the same kind of thing. You have something that represents getting organized or being more organized that you think is going to solve the problem, whether it's a box or a notebook or the planner in the box or the ideas in the notebook, all of those things are supposed to solve the problem. And it's so full of possibilities that you can't actually start working towards one of those possibilities to see if it works at all. So it ends up a, a, like a hindrance, a stopping point for the progression of getting better organized when you can't make a decision about what those possibilities are. You have to have a decision made about what you want to be able to figure out how to best use that planner, that box, that notebook. If it's just a holding place, um, that's great but designate it as this is the holding place for all future possibilities. And right now I'm working on this one, two or three, not I'm going to work on all of them simultaneously, or I'm frozen without any direction of what I'm going to work on when and how. Um, so on the one hand, this blue box, the blue box, the possibility moved around my client's room about, 30 times before I finally took it away. <laughs> it kept being, oh, I'm going to use that for something. Or, oh, I'm not sure if I'm keeping the planner in the first place. Oh, I'm not sure what, um, if I need to put the planner, I'm no longer going to be using back in the box for storage or to give to someone else. Or like all of that stuff comes up, right? And the same thing with the black notebook. Well, I just need, I can't let go of it. I have to grab all the note ideas and notes out of it. Um, or, oh, I was supposed to call that person three years ago and it's the only place I have their number. <laughs> all kinds of things that represent both future possibilities and things that haven't been done yet. The good intentions that need to be let go of. Um, so I want you to be aware of this as a situation and refer to whatever it is you have found that is in your way in this former fashion as your blue box of possibility. And this blue box of possibility is now going in the recycle bin because the possibilities that it represented have been clarified for that client and know that um, she has a very structured way of moving forward with her organizing project and, and tying why she wants to get organized with the, um, with the, the, the things she's actually keeping. So she's not letting go of possibilities. She is focusing on the current possibility that is going to have the biggest impact in her life. And the gal with the black notebooks, she too has begun glancing quickly through to see anything that's highlighted and promptly dropping the rest of the notebook into the recycle bin. So just know that it, it can help you get unstuck to simply recognize these little places of stuckness, the st sticky spots, if you will, are um, 
there's a bit of grieving process to all the, the possibilities that may not come to fruition, but you will get something done. The important thing, the thing that is most relevant to you right now, if you go ahead and let that go. All right. Take care. I will see you next week. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.